Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited that today's video is sponsored by Dyson. They asked me to be one of the very first few to share with you guys the newest innovation and I could not be more excited because if you watch my channel regularly, you'll know a few weeks back my hair blow dryer died and I actually asked you guys which would be the best hair blow dryer to get and I got an overwhelming response to get a Dyson. So I was stoked when they asked me to test out their newest model and be one of the first to reveal it on YouTube. And then I'm also gonna share with you guys a few DIY treatments that you can utilize this fall and winter um, to keep your hair in tip top shape, super easy and really effective. So I'm gonna jump right into the video and let's get started. So I'm gonna start this video with the unboxing of the new Dyson Air Wrap Styler. So already being a customer of Dyson, I knew that this was gonna be incredibly innovative. So it actually styles and dries your hair at the same time. It's a combination of powerful airflow and controlled heat, and so it's engineered to actually style damp hair. So instead of drying your hair and then styling it, you can skip a step. There are various attachments included to offer versatility when styling your hair. There's a round brush attachment for that really nice uh, round brush blowout, the flat brush attachments, and then also the curling attachments. And they have arrows that let you know which direction the air is flowing, so which direction your curl will be. So what you're gonna see here is what they refer to as the Kawanda effect. It attracts hair to the barrel using only air, and then it wraps it for you using only air. So you don't have to worry about extreme temperatures or using gloves or clamps or anything like that. It measures and controls the heat to make sure there are never extreme temperatures. It does take a second to get used to, but then once you get the hang of it, it's super simple and there's no pulling or tugging or sucking in of the hair of any kind, which was my initial concern when seeing it. There is just a dryer attachment. Most of the attachments your hair needs to be damp in order for it to work, but if your hair is really, really wet, you can prep your hair by drying it a little bit. For me, for an everyday routine, I was the most excited about the brush attachment, so the paddle brush attachment, and then also the round brush attachment. In the past, when I blow dry my hair, and also when I have shared how I do it on my channel, I usually start with a paddle brush and then my blow dryer. I aim the nozzle downward so that the hair is always flowing downward. I love the smooth brush attachment because it's basically mimicking how my stylist blow dries my hair with a paddle brush and a blow dryer, propelling the air downward to make sure you always get that really shiny, smooth effect. I love a good blowout, but in the mornings it is crunch time, and if I am gonna take a shower and blow dry my hair, I don't have the same time frame that I used to to get ready with my two kids now, especially with the school and getting ready for school and all that, so I loved that in like eight to nine minutes, I just can brush my hair dry and get a really nice blowout. So now the perfect cherry on top is the round brush attachment because once I finished blow drying my hair with the smooth brush, I took the round brush and just basically finished off the blow dry and I'm really able to mimic what I get when I go to the salon. Normally I've never been able to hold the hair blow dryer and then work the round brush so I've never even tried because I was never able to do it. But with this it makes it really easy. I have some layers in the front of my hair and it really just makes those look really nice and also it can add volume in the crown and it dries my hair impressively fast so in 10 minutes I feel like I look like I came home from the salon which is a huge plus for mom life. <laughs> So 
so that completes the unboxing of the air wrap styler and how I've been using it in my routine next I'm going to move to some PM hair treatments that are great for the fall and winter months coming up to keep your hair nice and healthy so I'm gonna start with a DIY invigorating scalp treatment it's really easy all you need is some olive oil castor oil and a few drops of tea tree oil now tea tree oil is really invigorating to the scalp good for dandruff as well castor oil is believed to um, encourage hair growth and olive oil is just really moisturizing to the scalp as well so this is a really good scalp treatment for a dry scalp and in the fall and winter months you know you want to make sure you're keeping an eye on your scalp making sure it's healthy so when I filmed this and put the scalp treatment in it had been a few days since I washed my hair and sometimes I take showers in the morning and sometimes I take showers at night so if I'm taking a shower at night I'll do like a hair treatment or um, I'm not in the morning I'll usually take a shower if I want to style my hair and get ready to go um, but if I'm just hanging around the house I'll wait to take a shower at night when my kids go to sleep and then that's when I can actually do some treatments so I put that scalp treatment in my hair you can either sleep with that in or you can wash it out I'm going to do a hair conditioning treatment that's DIY as well. Really easy. All you need is melted shea butter, some honey, and some aloe vera. You're going to mix that together and then allow it to harden. The cool thing about this is it can actually be used as a traditional hair conditioner or as a leave-in hair conditioner you're just gonna want to use a little bit less also go based on your hair type if your hair is like mine and it's really fine you might want to use just a tiny bit of that and keep it more towards the ends and not towards your scalp to prevent from it looking too greasy or oily so I'm just gonna use it as an actual conditioner I wash the scalp treatment out of my hair and then use that as a conditioner and wash that out. And then finally, I'm going to make a DIY hair rinse using apple cider vinegar. So this is an herbal cider hair rinse. And this is really nice for making your hair look really shiny and just a really nice cleanse to remove any buildup, especially anything that you might have gotten over the summer with chlorine so half water half apple cider vinegar I picked a little sage and rosemary from the garden this is optional but I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there and let that soak for 24 hours and then take it out that's gonna give it like a really nice scent the apple cider vinegar doesn't smell too good so you want to make sure you really rinse it out um, and then I just pour that over my hair and then rinse it with cool water and it's just a really nice again like cleansing cleansing from any buildup so Anyway, huge thanks for clicking on this video and watching it. Big thanks to Dyson for A, asking me to be one of the first to try and test out one of their new innovations, and then also sponsoring my channel and this video. That's a huge honor. And hopefully, if you guys were clicking on this video specifically to get a look at the brand new product, you got a, a well-rounded look at it and enough information. Um, and then, yeah, to everybody who's watching my channel, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the little tips and tricks. All right, I'll see you guys very soon in the next video. Bye.